Hi, it's Andy again. I got another tutorial for you. Uh, this one's going to be how to use a quilt view. Uh, there's a library out there that uh, allows you to use different images and it patches them into uh, a nice quilt like layout. Um, I'm going to show you how to set it up and show you how the example works and then how you can actually use this in your application. So this is the quilt view sample that th that's running. It's a real simple view. Um, to get it to work on your application you really don't need to change much on the, um, the XML layout. The only thing you might want to change is if you wanted it to be quilted vertically. Uh, right now it's set to horizontal. So I'm going to show you the sample text, uh, the sample XML file. And uh, in order to get it to work uh, vertically, the only thing you would change is to do this part, uh, change it to vertical versus horizontal. Basically what it's doing is setting up a padding in between each of these icons is five uh, dens density um, independent pixels. So that's what the DIP here is. And it takes up the entire width and um, entire height as well. So how do they do it in the sample? Let's look at their main XML file. So it's real easy to implement a quilt, quilt view. You just add a, a variable of quilt view. Then you're going to say, you're going to find the ID, which is here in this XML file, which is just quilt. And then um, they set the padding of five, which is also done in the XML file. Now, what they've done here is they've added 20 quilts, images. And that's if you count these blocks, there's 20 of them in the entire layout. So this is just their own method that they derived to add the quilts. And um, it's right here. Basically, what it's saying is if the number, the integer of number, is even, it's going to set to this one. If it's odd, it sets to this one. And then to add the images, you add this uh, line right here, quilt view add patch images. Now, for in order for this to work, the another line of code that you will need is this one right here. You have to set your images into an array list image view. Um, and it's actually very simple to do. I'll show you in, in um, my sample application on how to do that. So let's get started on how to get these activities to work. Uh, if you try importing them, you're going to get some errors at first, and it's actually not as hard to get it working as you might think. So you will need this grid layout um, library. So what you do is you import that into your uh, um, Eclipse, and then set the library is library. And then the next thing you want to do is get the quilt master. Now, when you download the quilt thing, both of these will have main activity, main activity. So import them one at a time because you'll get an error where you can't import both of them because they're named the same. So import one, rename it, and then import the other and rename that if you want. Um, so then the master is what the, is another library. So what you're going to do is you're going to set it as a library, but you're going to also want to add the grid layout library and if you want, well, the action bar Sherlock library as well. Now to get the sample to work, you do the same thing where you add all three libraries, the action bar Sherlock, the grid layout, and the quilt master. And you, since it's the actual application you're going to be running, you do not select that it is a library. And then um, so how can we get this to work in your application? Um, so I've created my own XML or my own activity file. And what I've done is I've set uh, in Java code three or five image view icons. Um, so this is the setup real quick is exactly the same for this quilt view. You find the view by ID and then you set the child padding. But then what I did is I set um, the icons. And what I did is I just picked five random uh, icons from the Android drawable library. And you set the scale type to center inside. 
in the example that they use, um, they use a center uh, crop instead, but doesn't really um, use which one fits your application best. So I, I just use center inside. Now to create your uh, array list, it's real easy. You're going to do the follow this exact same code as in the example, um, but then you're just going to do you're going to add each item to the list. So you, this can be as many as you want. And then to apply the patches, you just insert the, your array list into the add patch, just like in the example. So what this looks like is if you run this, we'll run it as an, uh, inside there. you get this and it's still horizontal or oh, this one's a sorry this one's vertical oh you know what it may not be because this is a bigger screen uh, I had run, originally run this on a, a smaller screen and it kept it horizontal but because this is a bigger screen it fits it vertically then goes horizontally afterwards so here's all five icons that I've randomly selected from the Android database that are here um, obviously this doesn't look very pretty but I just picked random icons so you can also use image buttons um, that's how I'm actually uh, using this uh, application in uh, this library in my current application I'm developing and uh, all you do is you change image view to image button and then do the exact same thing here you don't have to this code doesn't change you just change this this image view to image button and then set an on-click listener um, it's actually a lot simpler than I thought it would be and it's um, if you want an example of that just let me know and I'll I can put something quick together but uh, this is how to use a quilt view and have a good day